so we got a call for a truck that is stuck in the river I'm over here in Washington so this job already actually started last night Hefe and Rhett were able to get one of the vehicles out now we're going back for the other one so we got a call my dad is glamping how cool is this <laughs> that is way cool <laughs> And uh, we're in the Morver and we got a flat. So now we're waiting on an air compressor. I wish they would have told us that there was a flat. Hi well, guys. Thank you. <laughs> in my pajamas. Sorry so. for getting you out of bed. <laughs> Coming out right here. So every time we hit the rotation and the tire hits the spot where the air leak is, yeah, you hear that? It's like. Psh, 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 psh. So we're gonna go switch for the banana and then hopefully get on our way. We have fully lost the tire. I'm gonna get my hand in there if I really wanted to. It's just done. It's been a while since I've driven <laughs> this, so I don't I can't remember all the buttons. try and get them, Ed. <laughs> We're not going in the river at all. I'm not putting the Jeep in the river. We're going to try and pull them out without entering at all. See if we can do this. That's a long distance. I don't even know if we have enough rope for that, Red. Do you think we have enough rope? Lightning? Yeah. We gotta get them out of here quick. Here comes the rain. Yep. Alright, are you ready? Easy, 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 easy. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. Just a little bit. Okay? Let the wind pull. Here comes the thunder. You, whoever's in that Can Am, you might want to get it out of here. Okay. If if we get a flash flood in here, we're we're screwed. So it's easier for me to go through. You just follow me in. Okay. I don't want anything in here when if a flash flood hits. That's my main concern right now. So okay. we're gonna so start pulling. Stand here to We can't get this out, we need a second winch. As I said, my dad is out glamping, and so we're just leaving the truck here, and they'll come get it in the morning. All of us are a little bit concerned that it might rain tonight, but Tucker's the only one that's actually taken any sort of precautionary measures. Got a raft. Oh yeah, we're in a floodway too, so. <laughs> oh man, Brett, I am soaked. Same. That thing's heavy, man. Oh, I know. You didn't get that. You didn't even budget. All right, it takes a big man to admit when he is wrong, and uh, I am not a big man, but I am wrong. I made a huge mistake on the live, and the problem with that is, I can't take my words back. We were supposed to be selling mat straps, and if you bought one, you would get a free Morver during the live. But I said... <laughs> That's not even it. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, yeah, what's it? What happened? So, if you bought, you could either buy the mat straps like, at $1.99 or $2.25.99. You got a more bear 50% discount. And then if you bought the next kit, that's where you got the more bear free. So you got them all like mixed up. What I said was, if you bought a strap, you got a free more bear. The first 5,000 units sold. So my accountants and my managers are really mad at me. But there's nothing we can do about it now, can we? But this did cause a lot of problems because the website wasn't ready to do the thing that I said. And so 
A lot of you that ordered straps got charged for stuff that I said you were going to get for free. So we have been working tirelessly, non-stop for days to fix all these orders so that you guys get not charged for the signed Morver. So since I said it and I can't take it back, and even though everybody's mad at me, we are still selling the map strap kits. If you buy one of these kits, you will receive a signed Morver, signed by me, absolutely free. That's a $50 value. As soon as they're gone, all of this is gone. I'm probably gonna have to take a timeout or something. So go to mattstraps.com or you can go to mattsoffroadrecovery.com. You can pick up your straps today, get a free more bear. It is one heck of a deal. We're looking a little rough because we spent the night on a cot under the stars. So after about three hours of sleep, heading back out to Ford Power Stroke that's stuck in the water. It sounds like even though they went on a camping trip, they got better sleep than me. The crew got better sleep than me, so no fair. <laughs> yes, we did. Hey, Lizzie, you said because we did a guys only camping trip, what are you gonna do now? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a girls only camping trip and it's gonna be way more awesome. We're gonna have way better food, we're gonna do way better stuff and have more fun. There'll be way cuter people there than us. <laughs> Some snoring Matt. <laughs> Does any of the girls snore that you know of? <laughs> How far is it? Can the dogs run from here? Yeah, like Come on, Peanut. What? Is this like deja vu all over again? This is better. It's like daytime and there's no rain. <laughs> Hopefully the reeds have dried out. That's just sunk, yeah. Okay. Notice for safety, we're doing this. Okay. Oh wow, look at those guys. Look how brave they are. Okay, Skeeter, come pull this. That's a lot of it's nice, not even cold oh, actually. Okay, go ahead and pull it. You can go on this side. We are in the triangle of death and we need to get out. <laughs> yeah. Is that hooked up? Got her. That's all laying good there, Skeeter? Wait till we get the pull on this other one and inspect this. Okay, gonna... I'm gonna set this. I have on the street is the batteries disconnect. What are we going to do about that, Skeeter? Well, we're probably going to have to connect it to get, it, to get what we need here. Don't get electrocuted. <laughs> I will. Gasser or diesel? Diesel. Diesel standard. That's what we want. Standard, huh? Yeah. Okay, see so if it'll start. Alright. Turn it off a second. Yeah, Let's put that air filter on. It's like just kicking dirt right up in there. I mean water right up in the intake. I see what he did. 
Maybe we're good. Yeah. He's got it all the way disconnected. Okay. Lizzie, where I'm at, I cannot see these vehicles. I don't know what they're doing. So, you tell me if we start ripping them out of their holes. Okay. Hey, baby. No, I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get wet. You done your seven yeah, step program? Already done. Are you in denial? Maybe. <laughs> Trevor's trying to stay dry though. Not me. That's super cute, Trevor. You tie my shirt up. Oh, you left your socks on? <laughs> I'm afraid of hitting a little rock. I want a little cushion. Oh, you were in denial. I figured he had it though. The same denial, this is the virgin. <laughs> okay, go reverse. No, no, just go. Why is it smoking like that, though? Oh they disconnected the exhaust. Yeah, it's just exhaust. He's oh, okay, okay. All right. Skeeter's old beyond his years. Look at that blinker going. Just kidding, that's the hazard lights. You gotta make sure anyone coming down this river knows we're in trouble. Put it in neutral and turn the wheel to the right while we're backing up. <laughs> Did you get clothesline, lady? Oh my god. That's why you don't cross bad, the winch line. Bad timing. All right, we're going to just pull this out of here now. Um, we're going to pull it right up here on top and then drive it out. I don't know. We're going to try that. <laughs> in there oh yeah the drive lines everything was just like it didn't look like any wheels wanted to move it no, even I right there busted it right off at the output shaft or the input shaft on the transfer case you know what it went <coughs> something would have went after all night that's like cement you know settled all around that mud My <laughs> nice. don't worry we didn't do that to it they said they cut the exhaust. The reason why they wanted to disconnect the exhaust because yeah. they cut it off right after the transmission because of that. Yeah. So that wasn't us. <laughs> Skeeter! Where are we supposed to take this, Hefe? I called him. He should be on his way. That was here. So is this uh, Yankum or is that a factory yeah, 55 deal? Yeah, this is Yankum. This is, these are... A nicer version. Yeah, these have a much larger hole, smooth radius. You can put the soft check of one. You can get these from Yankum Ropes. Um, I use the Pendle Hitch a ton because I do this professionally and we do it 
you know, several times a day. But this is really light, we're super strong. This and a soft shackle. Turn your truck into a recovery vehicle. Not responsible for people turning the trucks into recovery vehicles. Okay, let's get out of here. job had used both vehicles and uh, that he didn't have to go swimming it was only about ankle deep got them all muddy yeah that wasn't too bad got them out thanks for watching so if you didn't know matt when we have a hard recovery he likes a victory dr pepper i'll take a victory dr pepper even though this was an easy one Hang on, let me hydrate first. <laughs>